Hey, it's Bonefist, Peterborough's first real superhero, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a knife-resistant vest. Now, it's pretty cheap and basic, but yet pretty effective. What you're going to need for this is some magazines, phone books, and some tape and scissors. Now, uh, I know it sounds kind of chintzy to be making it out of paper, you know, or magazine paper, but you got to remember paper is wood, like I've said in my previous videos, and it makes pretty effective armor against, you know, blunt and, you know, stabby attacks, sharp attacks. So what you're going to need first, you're, you're going to need about half inch to, you know, inch pieces of, you know, magazine or stacked up or phone books, you know, whatever it is, between half and an, half an inch and an inch. And you can go a bit over, but I recommend minimum half an inch is what you're going to need. For some decent resilience against you know stabs and slashes so what we're going to start with is these two pieces that i have from uh, i think i've shown them in a previous video or just from like a textbook or something like that and that's going to be your main body of the armor and you can always extend customize and make it as long as you want so with that we take the tape and just combine those together to make an extra long piece Now I'm just using clear tape today so you can kind of see a bit more closely what I'm going for. And because that's kind of all I have on hand to be honest. And I'm not going to go too hefty with it because I'm not going to be using this one out on the field. It's more of an example. But I'll show you what you will need to do. So just go around the seam. And I recommend going over this entire thing with uh, with like duct tape or something or you know something a little heftier of tape other than like packing tape. That's going to be your main body right there. And both those are almost, I'd say almost an inch fully. Maybe over an inch. That's going to be your main protection. And then what you're going to do with, uh, see I have the, the three magazines and then I have the foam book. These are going to be your side pieces which are going to kind of wrap around. And you're going to put them on the sides. So like one there. And one on this side. So they'll wrap around you. So I'll give you an example with the magazines. You want to keep them even with the, the base of your armor. And I've tried to keep the, the magazine and the phone books are pretty even in length. Try to keep things even. And it's going to be a lot more effective. Like I said, just wrap her up. You don't have to be too perfect with it. Oh, we just dropped one. I'll grab that. Doesn't have to be too perfect, like I'm saying. Just as long as you want to leave minimal gaps, because obviously knives or whatever could go in between those gaps. Sorry, it's hard to find this tape. Yeah, but leave minimal gaps, and if there is gaps, try and fill them in with some extra kind of patches of, of paper. And these first layers obviously don't have to be too special, because, you know, you're going to be going over it with some more uh, different tapes and possible other things, you know, like aluminum or steel, wood, other things like that to improve your armor, or like HDP, like I've shown in one of my videos. We'll give it one more and you'll kind of see what I've been working on here. So see, this is what we got so far. This is, see, you want the more flexible pieces to be on the side, so this will go on the front. And this will wrap around like that and you will build uh, either you know some kind of interlocking system at the back like you could just tie it you could uh, I do have a what is it called uh, uh, I 
I have a, I can't think of the name right now. Just give me a second on that, but you're going to do this to the other side anyway. The exact same thing. I'm just taking the phone book, placing it on the other side. Orientation of the, the items doesn't really matter. Oh, moving my table a bit. And you're obviously going to want to thicken it up a lot more than I'm doing it. This is just more for example. Flip the whole thing over. Do the other side. Drop my tape. There we go. We'll give her a couple more and then I'll kind of show you what it'll look like on the back. Don't be afraid to get a little messy with it. You will be covering this up or I did spray paint mine even though it is under my suit. We'll go one more piece. Sorry if this isn't the, the best content, but you're, you're getting the idea. Layering up and with the paper. and the tape. So see you have your, your armor piece now. This is our, our front. So these are the sides, they wrap around your body. And the front obviously is the front. And then you'll wanna make a tape kind of backing to it. Or mine does have a bit more, a bit extended more on the back so you can go farther if you want or attach more to make it thicker, you know, wider, a bit stronger. We'll just thicken it up a bit, but I'm not going to do the, the backing of it, but you get the example. You could just easily tape shoulders on it. What I did is just for starting straps was just made like some tape straps went across and then thickened them up once I had the, the general idea. But if you really want to, oh, this is just a general tip. I'll try and keep this video short. But you can make kind of corner pieces in between this and this. I think I dropped my tape again. So we'll try and do that just to give you an example, uh, at least on one side. I did mine slightly differently, but I've seen these techniques of this done. You're basically making a strap across the two shoulder, the shoulder and the, the side point, just so you can wrap it around. Lost my footing on the tape here. but just as a quick idea, is basically that. So you can put your arms through, do the same on the other side, and then for when that just itself is a good start. And you know, you get both sides on. I can do a quick, quick other side. I think I can do it a lot quicker than I did this one. Don't be afraid to make straps, you know, out of tape to start. You gotta start somewhere and then just make make them a bit stronger once you get a bit farther into the project. 
So see, same thing on the other side. So you can do that, that. Oh, sorry about that. And then it's it's wrapped around. These are like shoulder straps almost. And then do almost a backing or leave it like that and put something over. And it's going to be pretty effective against, you know, stabs. And I did remember what I forgot before. It's a Velcro for the backing is what I use. <laughs> Sorry it took me so long there. But like I said, pretty good for avoiding stabs. You know, that did not go through. These are some pretty sharp scissors on the one side, at least. Did not go through. And I'm giving them some pretty pretty sharp stabs. Obviously with a slash, it's not going to go through this hard stuff. With the thinner stuff, it's going to go through a bit, not too much. Don't be afraid if you know if it gets stabbed up a bit to layer up or add other kind of modifications like I said before. You know, wood. Uh, check out some of the other videos, HDP, and check out future videos when I'll be showing off more armor stuff and maybe more detailed versions of, of making suits of armor. But uh, this, this has been the paper slash kind of tape suit that is pretty knife resistant slash stab resistant might even stand up if you get her there you go build off of that use use these ideas uh tell me how yours went uh make sure to like comment with the you know you know subscribe and share hit that little bell thanks for watching uh see ya